good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are watching this uh video from this is your friend of Miss steven in the school of learning and uh development so today i want to briefly uh talk about to how to allow windows 11 to be installed on the hyper uh vice i believe most of us know how to install our operating system on hypervisor which is the but i think for windows 11 uh, i think it's quite different which not everyone uh is aware uh of that because of the uh requirement to install windows uh 11. so now you can see from my screen you can see you so say you need to enable or configure the TPM, which is Trusted Platform Module, and Secure Boot to get Windows 11 to work. So normally, when you want to install your Windows, your operating system, or your hypervisor, you just go, you follow the process, you install, and everything run properly. But for Windows 11, it's quite different. So you can see from the screen, you can see the picture you have. You can see when you are trying to install Windows 11 on your hypervisor, you are going to get uh, this particular uh, error, where which which uh, this error simply states that your hypervisor is not meeting the requirement to install Windows 11. Why? Maybe because you have not enabled the TPM, the TPM, which is the 2.0 version. The TPM is a trusted platform model chips, which actually, if your computer, if your uh, if your machine uses your host machine, if your host machine does not have that, you might not be able, you will not be able to install Windows 11 on your host uh, machine. So which means that you cannot even install it on your hypervisor. So uh, if your computer does not have this uh, trusted platform uh, module, which is the 2.0, but if you have it and, and preventure you want to install Windows 11, on your hypervisor, maybe you just want to carry out, uh, a, um, you want to do some testing or anything on your hypervisor, you want to install the VM. So now, if you are trying to install it, uh, you might run through this particular error you are seeing on your screen, which is telling you uh, your system does not meet the requirement. And you'll be looking at it that, oh no, I have I had TPM enabled on my machine. I have, or my host machine is, is Windows 11 and I have good number of RAM. I have my hard disk is fine, the processor is fine. So why am I not able to install Windows 11 on my hypervisor? So what you need to do is to go and enable the TPM, which is the trusted platform module on your hypervisor. You understand? So you need to enable that. If that is not enabled, Windows 11 is not going to work and you'll be getting this particular error you are seeing on the screen. So briefly, quickly, I will just show you how that, uh, how it runs. So in, in case when you come across something like this on how you can fix it, okay? So quickly, let me open my uh, hypervisor. Yeah, so this is my hypervisor uh, environment, which is my Hyper-V uh, manager. So you can see I have my VM installed already. I have a lot of uh, VM, I have my Windows, I have my server there. So now if I want to install Windows 11, first thing you need to do, make sure you download the iOS Pi on your, from, the, uh, from the Microsoft uh, website. So you come up here, you come up here, click on new, and you click on virtual uh, machine. So when you click on your virtual machine, So when you click on here, here is going to tell you to choose your generation. So here I'm going to click on the Gen 2, which is normally what you uh, you select when you are trying to uh, create your VM. So you click on your next. So here you can assign a, uh, your memory space. I can start to give it my own. So it depends on the, the amount of memory you have on your host machine. So you click on your next. 
Then here you come up here, you choose the uh, your network switch here. So here I will choose my, which I already have. Then I will click on next. Then here I can assign uh, my hard disk space. So I can give it eight if I want to. So it depends on you. So you do whatever you want. So I click on next. Then here I will now click on uh, install an operating system. So this is where I will now go and select my iOS file, which I already have it on my machine. So click on that and you can see I have my Windows 11. Click on that and then say open. And then I will now click on my next here. Here I will now click on finish. So now you can see now click on finish. No, now this is my Windows 11. Now I will now try to run it and then you will see uh, the error I'm actually talking about. So just double click on it. Once you double click and you click on start, you click on your next key immediately. Just click on any key on your keyboard uh, immediately. Then here you click on your next, you say install. Here you click on say, I don't have a product key for now. Yeah, and then I will choose my 11, Windows 11 Pro, click on next. So now, can you see that now? So you can see the error you would actually run through. So can you see that I said, this PC does not meet the minimal system requirement to install this version of Windows. Can you see that now? So this is what you come across. So when you come across something like this, you don't need to, uh, express yourself all you just need to know is that you need to enable the tpm and your secure boot okay so now let me close this now and then i will go back i will go back and just say turn it off and then come back to your vm right click on it and then click on your settings right click it on settings So now you can see that. So when you click on this, your security, you can see you have enable secure boots. So can you see that that is actually checked by default? But so you need to come up here, you have your encryption support and you check this one where you have your enable trusted platform module. Can you see that? Enable trusted what platform module, you understand? So if that is not enabled, if you don't check that, you are definitely going to run through that particular error you saw earlier on the screen. Okay, so when you do that, just click on apply and then you click on your okay. Now, once you do that, now, now let's go back to our VM, go back to the VM and then you double click and then you say start quickly. You just press any key on your keyboard. Okay. So uh, yes, click on next again, click on now install. Yes, so can you say I don't have product key? Yeah, and then choose your Windows 11 Pro and click on your next. Boom, so can you see that now? Now is now taking you toward to the next step. Why, because for what? this secure boot and the TPM as what has been enabled on your hypervisor. So click on that, click on your, yeah, just say accept, click on next, and then say uh, install Windows only. Yeah, I click on next. And then, can you see that? So definitely your Windows 11 will now be installed on your hypervisor. Is that understood? So please make sure you check for that particular setting when you want to install your Windows 11. But in terms of Windows 10 and every other one, it should go smoothly with that, even if that is not enabled. The reason why you have to enable that is because that is part of the requirement to install your Windows 11, even on your even on your host machine, like I said earlier on. If you don't have this thing enabled, you have to go to your BIOS, enable it on your BIOS before you can, be able to, to install your word Windows 11 on your host uh, machine. That is if your machine a uh, requirement. I hope uh, you have learned something. I hope this video has really helped you. And if
uh if you are the new subscriber we would like you to like the video share and also share the good news to every other uh person and i want to i want to appreciate everyone for taking their time to always come through to watch my video thank you very much thank you i really appreciate you i appreciate taking your time to watch my video thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you i thank you with the whole of my heart thank you use some other time okay bye bye for now